Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to try a voiceover. This is a video where I'm going to draw a face and add it to the mixed media background I did. And I'm showing you my great pencil sharpener. I love this pencil sharpener. Uh, it gives you such a great uh, point for when you draw. If you're interested, I'm going to put it down below in the links. You can check it out and buy it. But right now I'm just doing a basic face. Y you know, I do this all the time. <laughs> I just draw an oval, I have my little circle uh, template that I love, and I divide the face into half, and then into half again, and I have to always try to be straight because I'm never straight. I could use a ruler and mark it and do all the things for 20 minutes and draw the line and it's still crooked. <laughs> so you take your oval, you do it in half, you do that in half again, and then half again, and that's where you get your eye line, nose line, and mouth line. Uh, then you divide it into half and this is basically how I always do it you could see I did it a little you know a little off center so I just drew a line now down, down next to it and they say although I'm not doing a realistic portrait they say that you should have um, about five eye widths you know in between um, so I always put my middle and then I go you know over two and then over two more that's kind of where i end it um so you have like an eyes width length apart from your eyes <laughs> you know but i always play with it and i change it and i change all this but that's just a basic and then i just erase off the ends and then i'll do my face now you're going to notice when i do my face again you see how i did i cut it off to make it a little bit um shorter like because I realized that it was going to be a longer face which is nothing wrong with that it depends on the face you're trying to go for I really love how she came out um so you know I'm, I'm glad I kind of cut it like that but now I'm just doing my eyes where you just do your you know your almond shape you know to the top to the bottom then your nose which is I just do like a little a little line and then you know kind of curl it over at the ends for the nostrils and then put two like parentheses around it and then you just do your lips as you can see roll it's very simple if you want me to ever do this slow down let me know and I will slow it down for all um, you guys learning how to do the faces but otherwise this is all I do and then I'm going to cut that face see how much I cut it it's easier for me. I It depends on the day. Sometimes I can draw a face without erasing at all. Other days, I can't. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say I erase. I'm sorry. I erase. I get comments all the time about that. You know, like, oh, that's not professional. You know, they don't erase. You do blah, 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 blah. But whatever. This is how I do it. You don't like it? Go find somebody else who does it for you like it. That's why YouTube's free. Favorite eraser is the Vanish. Um, oh, one of my favorite ladies in the world, Linda, sent me. She, when she was alive, she would send me all kinds of stuff. She would go to the uh, Cha, the Creative, what is it, Creative Hobbies and Crafts or something, and she would come home with all the new stuff. She would order it and have it sent to me, and I would get all kinds of stuff. And she sent me three of these. I went through one. I'm halfway through another, and then that's my last whole one and I really don't like to use it because it just reminds me of her um and uh, you know but I love it so I decided why to hold on to it you know so now what I'm gonna do because this is a thinner paper I erased off all the extra lines most of them and I'm gonna go in with my Mod Podge paper which I love you can use Mod Podge matte as well and I'm gonna go over it it's going to help stiffen up the paper a little bit so it doesn't crease when you lay it down on the canvas because sometimes I don't do this and it will crease. Um, but if you do this on there, leave it dry and then I'll cut her out. Um, you know, once I get her pretty much painted, you should see a difference when you go to glue it down. It, it gives the paper more, I, I don't, girth is not the word. <laughs> you know more sturdiness so when you lay it down it's just not so floppy like tissue paper and you can do this with whatever kind of paper you have it works for me might not work for you but it works for me all the time and you'll see when I go apply this to the canvas 
Now I just have my favorite folk art paint in skin tone and that's from folk art and then I have uh, obviously some white and then some um, oh it's off white warm white I believe it's called and I just mix them together to try to just get a little bit of variation in the skin you don't have to do this I also mix my own colors I mean you know we, we've all done it I'm not doing anything new here so I like to take the darker color and go around, you know, the top where the where the sun hits, as they say, when you're doing makeup. So like, you know, your forehead, your, um, you know, your neck, like the shadows in your eyelids, that kind of thing. And then I'll take the lighter one and do a little bit lighter. And once I do all the rest of the stuff on it, you know, you'll see it. it You'll barely see it, but it does make a difference. Now I'm taking a little bit of pink for a little bit of rosy in the cheeks. And then I'll go over and kind of pat it down. Okay, now here's what I did. <laughs> because I didn't want to make the video so wicked long. All I did was I added some eyes and her nose and a little bit of the lips just to kind of keep it going. I work on these way more than this. Um, but instead of having to show you, you know, me just using a uh, permanent marker to draw that on I just figured I would skip through it it's not you know like I said I've done these a million times so um, I erased off the lines underneath if there were any and then I'm going in I glued her on with my Mod Podge paper let her dry overnight and we are gonna add some hair and I just really you could see I just play I decided this color hair and I'm gonna make it curly and you can still see underneath the paper a little bit for the hair for the head now you can also cut that if if you want you could kind of cut it that way so the hair but I don't do it because you'll see I'll go over it it'll cover it it's not a big deal I think I might even throw some gesso down I can't remember like mixed it a little bit yeah and you can see I don't know what the hell I'm saying here. I, I did this as a video of me putting it up, but it came to like two hours. So I had to edit it a little bit down. And then I thought, well, let me just do this. So these are my favorite markers. One of my favorite markers, I should say. They're Faber-Castell's. They are uh, the big brush ones. They are fantastic. Pit Artist Pen. They are permanent, to light fast, all the things. Um, I've had these for years. Oh, I love them. And you'll see I use these a lot. And I'm just kind of putting, you know, some detail in her hair. And I'm going to use, you know, some gold and, and just different uh, colors. This is a thin black uh, pit pen, which I love. And that's the smaller version of the big brush. And I'll go in and do, you know, play with the eyes a little bit and make her pupils. And I just like to go back and forth. You can see I'm just measuring, putting in the eyes. Can't remember what I talked about doing all this. I'm sure I was blabbing up a storm. And then I just go back in with the big one and do the Sharpies are great too. I love, I do use those as well, but this is kind of going a little bit further than I, faster than I anticipated. So I'm using my gold now, which I love and just going to give us some, some highlights. I love this gold. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to get me another gold or see if I can get it in a Sharpie or something. I love it. Love it. Love it. It's so opaque and it just is. Look at it. Gorge. Okay. Obviously the sun's going in and out. So I'm going to play with my Bic Market. Now those are also permanent. They're wonderful. Pick them up if you can. This one apparently, um, this one might be too dark. I think I used, but when I went to go move it, put it on there for whatever reason it just wasn't doing opaque it was like streaky I think it was drying too fast so you know I kind of play with this a little bit I wanted a more muted uh lip but I wanted it a little pink so her lips you know so we'll see I use a lot of water as right there as you'll see with the brush to kind of with the uh, pit pens whether that's the brush or the small you have a very limited space um, of time to take some water and like kind of blow it out. 
And by that, I mean like make it kind of watercolory, move it around before it goes permanent. So that's kind of what I was doing and then I didn't like it. So I kind of took it off and you're going to see I used a highlight. Like I played a little bit until I got to the point of where I liked it. So you'll see me, you know, now I go in with a little bit of uh, off white. I believe that is just to kind of clean up a little bit of the pink around it. Cause I kind of played, I mean, that's what it is. And then, you know, cleaned it up a little bit and then continued on. But you can see like up in the right hand corner, I have my yellow pit pens over there. I have brown and green and I have my Poscas and, you know, all the things because I just love, I love markers. It's terrible how much. Now I'm kind of going in and adding some yellow to the eyes uh, for just some highlighty kind of things you'll see. And I'll add a little bit of water. I do my touch thing where I lift off some of the ink. And then I'm just adding a little bit of water with my, it's a very thin, um, whatchamacallit, uh, la, 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 paintbrush. Um, I don't even know if it's a 10. Let's see. Let's see. It is a number two flat, I guess I was using. Okay. That's what it is, in case you're wondering. And then I go in with some green, some yellow, and I'm just playing around to give it a little bit more dimension. And when I'm done with this, which you'll see, you know, when I'm done, I haven't done it yet. I'll post a picture when I'm done, but I am going to, um, oh, this is the green. This is one of my favorite greens in the world. It is lime green, multi-surface from Folk Art, and I love it. It goes on everything, everything from clothes to glass to metal to everything. <laughs> I love it. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, when I'm done with this, um, I'm going to really clear coat it. I was going to resin it, but I'm going to give it a good clear coat so it's shiny and uh, brings those colors really to pop. So I'll try to get a picture of it when I'm done. Doing the shinies are hard uh, to take picture. I might have to take it outside, so I will. I'll post it on my community tab or whatever when I'm done, probably tomorrow. Okay, now I'm doing, you see I did the lips and doing the green and now I want the green to become a little bit, it's a little bit of a uh, translucent color. So I thought I'm going to put a little gesso on here. I didn't clean my brush or nothing. And, and um, so what that's going to do is when I go again with the green, it's going to make it uh, opaque, which I probably should have done in the beginning, honestly. But when I get into that like brain uh, mode of uh, painting and doing a canvas and whatnot, I don't think, uh, which is part of my problem, I think. If I would just take some time to think, it would be different, but I don't. So I'm just taking my brown marker and going in with the, um, for the eyebrows, and I'm doing a little bit of darker in there for some lines, but I don't think I kept that. I can't recall at the moment. I thought I took that off because I didn't like it. Let me see. Yeah, I took it off. I don't know. I play until it gets to where I like it. I wanted her to be like, to have a somber -y look on her. I don't know if she ended up with that way, but and then I hated the nose like this. So then I had to go back. You'll see. I'm just taking that brown. That brown is called, oh, I love it. It is Raw Umber 180 in the Fabricastel Pit Artist Pen Brush. And I have it in the small version. In the, I think they come extra fine, fine, medium, and then that big brush, I believe. So I have it like in probably all the colors, but I love it for like tracing for faces and shadows and that kind of stuff. So now I like to just so dry a little bit and I'm going back in, as you can see. Just going over it. I've been really trying hard to get back into doing YouTube. And what I had said earlier, 
uh, I think I said it in my other video. I'm not sure the one before this. However, um, it has been so long since I really sat down and did a canvas start to finish. And I'm really trying, you'll be seeing me do a lot of these because I'm really trying to get back into doing my faces and all that like I used to do. So um, you'll be seeing a lot of these. I apologize. <laughs> and I also said that I will be doing, I will probably be talking a lot and vlogging while I do it rather than, I don't even know if it's called vlogging, uh, talking a lot through it of just life stuff and blah, blah, blah. Because after you've seen me do a couple of these, you're going to be bored. <laughs> So I figured I'd talk and um, that kind of thing. So I'll put this up and give you all the warnings and then you all do what you want. I just figure, you know, for those who want to watch it, that's great. Uh, those who don't, they don't have to. I'll do regular videos as well, you know, where I show different things. But it kind of gets me, you know, doing this again. And I want to start doing my paintings and YouTube and all the things. So. Now you can see I'm blocking out, blocking out the um, the face, the line that I put there. And I like it so much better. And all I did was took some of the skin color and blotted it on top. And I'll do it again um, once that dries. Just to, Because having a little shadow there isn't a big deal because we do. Um, but, you know. Alright, so I'm mixing... Okay, so I'm kind of, I'm going over the eyebrows where I want all the extra off and I'm using the gesso with just a little bit of the skin tint and I'll go over it with the color, obviously, but just to shape them, just kind of like we do with concealer, you know, where we're just kind of giving her some highlight in there and you know, she's not a, an odd girl, so you know, which I'll be doing those too, but. Yep, I'm just kind of, you know, where I'm going to maybe lay color or play or just leave it white. It doesn't matter. Okay, so. Everything's dry, so I'm going back in with some of the skin color. You can see my lighting is a little off there. The sun must have went in a little bit. But I'm excited to say that Dave put up my new lights and everything. So we'll see how that works in my next video. I'm so excited. I have to clean off my desk though. <laughs> so I'm adding just some stuff to her shirt, some decoration. I just took some pink. And uh, in this painting, I'm trying to keep the same, um, kind of the same color scheme going, right? Where normally I would do like wacky things, but... So I'm going in with my marker and I'm just drawing some circles. I'm going to do some decoration on there. I'll go in with my pink Pasca or Pasha, whatever it's called. And I'm going to color them in. Yeah, I love, like I said. And the quote, I'll explain the quote. It doesn't, you know, I'm not thrilled with how the quote went on, but it did its work for me. I kind of like it standing out. And I can always push it back a little bit if I want. I haven't quite decided yet. I'll decide before I spray it. Um, but I haven't quite, you know. Now I'm going to go back in with a little bit of, what did I do there? Color? Yeah. I don't know what color that is. What the heck am I doing there? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of color. A little bit of glitter. A little bit of glitter. A little bit of glitter for some highlight in her eyes. A little bit of glitter uh, as like highlight on her face. And the glitter I used was Rose... I think it's called Rose Gold from Glitterific. It is fine and it is folk art. Because if you don't have glitter. Okay, so that's what I did. I kind of put some on her eyes, some of this. This is some gold. Um, this is 24 karat gold from Deco Art Extreme Sheen, which is one of my favorite things in the world. 
And that's what this is. Okay. So now. What are we doing? I'm probably I'm probably explaining to you my quote, which my quote is maybe I've always been more comfortable in chaos. And it is a line from a song and it resonates with me. It has since I heard it the first time I heard it. Um so I decided, which after I did this, I it was too late, but I decided to paint this paper yellow because I wanted it to stand out from the canvas. Um, you can see how light it looks there, but once it dries, it dries darker and it was like um, highlighter color. <laughs> and I still used it. That's the thing, right? I still used it, which, okay. So I, I haven't quite decided. I might take, I might take some of the background color like of all the like uh, mixed media on the background and like stamp on it and kind of, or I might just leave it like this because that's, you know, the quote, that's what I wanted to do. So I don't know. And I'm writing it in my shitty handwriting, which I have the worst handwriting in the world. And I wanted to have Emily type it for me and it just didn't work out that way. I had her typewriter up here. I was going to use it, but then she, she's been writing and doing her poetry so she took it down she got a nice new desk and chair and um i was gonna have her type it out for me but too late <laughs> i can't i can't wait for anything so i'll probably get her to do my next one and type it because i would have rather having it typed but such is life i don't hate this it just isn't you know it's tweaking it's just getting to where i want it but I still love it. Like when you look at it and you see all the bits and pieces and I just love it. And like I said, it has a little bit more to, to do. And then I'm going to do the sides. I'm just going to do the sides black, I think. Um, or white gesso. I haven't quite decided, but yeah. So that's it. I'm just cutting it and I'm going to use my Mod Podge paper. Now you can also use your glue stick. Glue sticks work fantastic. Um decoupage white school glue you know all the things i just i i use mod podge paper or i use mod podge mat it depends on whatever i've sitting here i have both sitting here so it's whatever one i grab i can't remember which one i used but i love them all okay now to figure out so you see, like, I was like, oh, I probably should have done, like, light blue or green or something, right? I don't know. What color do you guys think I should have used? It helps me in the future because after the fact, after I already had glued them down, obviously, because I look at this and I'm like, okay, it could work. But then I did it and then I'm like, okay. So then I kind of added some um, brown around it, you know what I mean, to kind of, like, make it grungy, which it took that bright yellow away. But then I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. So let me know down below, what color should I have used instead of yellow? Should it have been like light blue, light green? What, pink maybe? I don't know. I'm just trying to get back into it. Remember, my brain doesn't work. I can't think. So that's where I'm going in with the brown, that brown delicious marker, the big pit and a big brush. And you can see I'm doing that. And then I just go in with a little bit of water with my brush. Watch. Scribble, 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 water. Squisha, 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 squisha. There it goes, there it goes. That's it. And then I just touch it with the towel just to get like the excess water off. And that's it. So that's a tip for you if you ever use these. Like I said, go to uh, Michael's or Hobby Hobby and get your uh, Joann's and get a coupon and go in and you can buy a... a Sometimes they have a four pack or you could buy them individually, these pens and get a nice brown, get this raw umber because you can use it for so many different things. It's like one of those, like, um, a two fur, three, four fur, even like where you can use it for quite a few things. 
shadows on the face, uh, just like you saw that. You can do it for eyeshadow, to draw, whatever. And it really does serve a nice purpose. Black is great. They have white that is great. Their white works fantastic. So there's so many different, you know, things. And just go pick a color at a time and use your coupon. I don't know. I think they might be maybe for a pack of three or four even. I think it might be $14 and then you use a coupon. And Michael's offer is like 50% off sometimes or Joanne's is 25% off time. So, you know, use them. And then that's how I started building. I can't afford all these. So I would just go and you know, pick up one pack at a time or one marker at a time and watch when they're on sale and all the things. So, well, that's how I would do it years ago. Years ago when I had my golden paints and all. These have lasted a long time. Okay. And this is basically it. I'm just, you know, <clears throat> going in little glitter on top of that uh, shirt because I just love it. But this is pretty much the end of it. And I am so glad if you watched all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Give me a code word of gold. And um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what color that should have been for the background. And, of course, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much, and if you watched this far and you would like to subscribe, please click that button down below with the little bell to notify you when I upload. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.